Hello, welcome aboard Google Cloud. Just checking the out list. I think you're going to create a cluster. Now just exporting some variables like the project, the cluster name, the zone, the US, US Central on B. Setting the compute zone although default. Going to enable this container Google googleops.com the cloud build and search REPL I'm going to clone a repository that's going deep inside I have I have a containerized applications ready and go you can see there's a docker file let's create a cluster takes a while around five minutes next lab we're going to be talking about antos and service mesh just clicking on the menu Takes a while creating a cluster. Here we go, getting there. Done. Let's create a namespace, call it production. Got to deploy. Let's apply some canary deployments. So, some services. To workloads and services is going to be everything deployed and now it's scaling. It's just container creating the things. This will have the minimal availability. There are six status the pods can be. Container creating. Now they scale the GCM front-end production with five, four replicas. That's the that's the one you see the minimal availability with the red inter, the red exclamation. Can refresh that. The other is going to... Okay, the services. Let's get the services. 
I'm going very fast over here. I check those two name space. Here you can export a variable. I'm going to do an echo with the URL. You can see which is the URL we're going to be using. What about going to occur? I'm going to execute a command right now, which we see the front end version 1.0. Perfect. what it answers. Let's create a repository. You can out search raffles, create successfully. Let's check what we have. We added a remote REPL. Setting the configurations of Git, the user, email, and the user name. You're going to add all things, committing. Pushing and check the rappels. Where is it? Let's see, it's a bit up. No, up, up, or no. Where is that? I always get lost with the rappel. Ah, here we go. Search repositories. You can see our stuff is there. One second. Just checking what you have here. They're going to create a trigger. You can see what I just created based on the JSON. A trigger that's going to be published. Once I commit code to the master or the other, any other branch. This is a run command, one second. So you can stop it, the video, and check what I like. What I'm doing right now, curling, and okay, answers. Then create another trigger, look at the master trigger. It's going to any push to the to the master branch is going to trigger a function trigger a build sorry it's on cloud build wherever it is, this is just an example it fails or not depending on on the writing on the our kubernetes yamls but in this case i'm just explaining you can create this trigger using yaml files or the json files wherever and you can Create it and check on the cloud build. The, the, those things are there. This is what I have to push to the new feature. I was not opening the editor. I'd like to change the, the piece of code. And then that's shown on the hand. I'm going to change the main.go and HTML.go. is nano just change the version get quite lost with that oh, counts to version string here we go 1.0.0 let's get 2 control O control X Let's, let's add okay let's push it let's 
Let's change this to the HTML. Let's change some something here. Whatever it is, just to have the file change it with no effect. Don't care about anything you're going to be seeing in this page later. Just a piece of HTML. It's red and blue, we're gonna put orange. Save it. The code we just publish it. We check in some functions. No namespace was created. There's some failure, but it doesn't matter. Just have to fix it later. There's no namespace new feature. So my the build try execute but failure it. This is not a problem. I will check the build, cloud build. Based on the triggers, the build that I created previously, here we go. You see any push to, the, to this stuff, it triggers the build. I'm going to create a namespace. There's the branch, wherever. So basically is that you can create the trigger. Okay, the, the build configuration that's gonna be triggered once you push to the branch. You can say the failure is not a problem. The reference, you can see this new feature. can check out the history, etc. the dashboard, the triggers, you can create triggers from here. Actually, for doing things like um, CICD stuff, you would be better using the Spinnaker. Let's check this bib or ever. Thinking about one thing to do to show more things about the build or how is it triggered. It. Git branch, there's the feature branch, the master branch.
changing again. Change another stuff. Commenting, let's push. Live on the history. Here you go. So you see, but just by the push, independently of the environment, all those three are created for any branch. So triggers the build. The artifacts, etc. There's not a problem what it's going to air her there. It's going to run that those YAMLs were able to recognize trying to ping on that URL. Gonna fix that later. But pretty simple how to create a trigger. It's going to be triggered by a push into a Git repository. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.